Shasta, have you done your shorts? I'm still working, father. Well, work faster. <sighs> father, what's beyond that hill? Don't let your thoughts be confused by idle questions. Welcome to a humble home, good sir. My host, I am inclined to buy that boy you have in your house. Is he for sale? Of course, my lord. He's not even my real son. Maybe my life gets better with this man. <sighs> I wish you could talk, horsey. I can. Uh, how in all the world have you learned to talk? Shh! Not so loud. In my country, almost every animal talk. What kind of country? Narnia. If you free me, I let you come with me. If you mind back, we can make it towards Narnia without anyone trying to catch us. You could ride. Of course, I ride the donkey. Ride the what? Poor little thing. Horse, sorry, but I don't know your name. Brain. Can I say Bree? If that's the best you can make. I'm so tired. Hold it, I heard you. You're talking horse from Narnia like me. Mind your business and leave us alone. It's just a girl. You're just a boy. An unpolished little boy. My name is Erebus. And this is my mare, Wynne. We are on a journey towards the country called Narnia. So are we. Why don't we join together on this journey? Yes, let's. I will feel much safer then. Make way for King Edmund of Narnia. There he is. There's our little runaway. Susan? Corin, where have you been? I, I don't know. Who are you? Are you Prince Corin? Who else would I be? I will lead 200 men into Narnia and devastate it with sword and fire. Prince Rabadash is gonna invade Narnia when they least expect it. We have to warn them. <laughs> Kill them all. <gasps> How can I stop an entire army? I'm not a hero. There's so much more to you than meets the eye. Now come on, Narnia's future rests on our shoulders. For Narnia! Who are you? One who I waited long for you to talk.